Hey, you guys. Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome back to my channel. A little bit late. I was actually reading up on the Chelsea Huska lawsuit because I was thinking that I was going to come back and talk about that. But no, you guys, I jumped over to Twitter and Katie is claiming that she and Todd Crisley have settled their lawsuit. So I'll show you guys what she tweeted. Hey, you guys. Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'll show you guys what she tweeted really quickly. I was looking online. I was trying to find their um, their suit just to see if there's like any updates. But if memory serves me correct, she was supposed to send in discovery, and they have been fighting over discovery. Like she was not sending in um, all the the discovery that she was supposed to send in. And she was given, at their last hearing just a couple weeks ago, she was given um, until sometime this month. And nothing was filed on the date that she was supposed to send in that discovery. Nothing was filed. Um, and I saw people on Twitter saying, like, well, maybe she did turn it in, and that's why nothing else was filed. But then if she would have sent something in, that means that would have been filed. Like, if she would have sent in that other discovery, I would think that that would mean that discovery would go into the system and we would see that, right? So, either way, the date came and went and we didn't hear anything. And it looks like the reason that must have been is because she apparently settled with them. You guys, jump over to your Twitters or whatever and share this video because I have a feeling not many people know what's happening. I kind of expected Charlotte to go live as soon as you know, news of this broke. Um, and she's not live yet. Oh, she is live. Oh, well, that explains it. She probably don't know that this lawsuit has been, um, she probably don't know that this lawsuit has been settled, according to Katie. Um, but she's live about not this, something else. Um, so you guys go, if you don't mind, go like post it on your Twitter or somewhere so everyone can see. So everyone can see uh, that we're live talking about this. Hey, 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 everyone. Thank you. Everyone's saying you guys love the fall decor. Thank you guys so much. Okay. Um. So, let me show you guys what Katie tweeted just a little bit ago. Um, she said, without a crystal ball, settles lawsuit with Todd Chrisley. My company, without a crystal ball, and I have reached a settlement in our lawsuits with Todd Chrisley, settling all parties' claims. No liability was admitted on either side or adjudicated. As a result of that settlement, I will not be speaking publicly about Mr. Chrisley, his companies, or his family. Mr. Chrisley has agreed to the same terms with in regards to me, my in regards with regards to me, my company, or my family. Thank you. Kind of messed that up again. Uh, kind of messed that up. I really didn't think it would settle. Neither did I. I really did not think that he would settle. Like I'm, I'm, I'm kind of shocked to hear that he settled. Like I really figured he would be the one. Even though like uh, Nate the lawyer and civil law, they really didn't think that he had a good, strong case. Um, I really just did not think that he would settle. I figured he would, you know, go until he couldn't go anymore. But part of the reason why he settled may be due to all the other, you know, legal trouble he has going on right now. They are trying to um, get him another trial for the tax fraud charges. Um, they've filed the appropriate paperwork to get a new trial. They had a court date of October 6th, I think it is, or it was, and they filed the paperwork to push that court date back. Um, so, so he can't say what happened. From, I checked his Twitter to see if he's posted anything. Let me check his Instagram. Because I would imagine they, you know, I felt like, oh, if she's announcing it, surely he will as well really soon. Let's see. God. No. 
three days ago he made a post, but, you know, nothing to do with Katie. Um, so on Instagram, he's not said anything. I'm going to run back over to Twitter really quickly to make sure in the time that I've been on here, he hasn't made a post. Because usually when you settle, if an announcement, if an announcement is made, um, then you both make a post. You know, you'll both go if you're going to. And I would imagine that he would. I would imagine he would say something, but so far he has not. Um, I wanted to get on, no, you can't say what the terms of the settlement are. Most of the time, most of the time there's like a confidentiality agreement, you know? Yeah, I think he's more concerned about his federal case. Oh, she did announce it? Okay. I'm kind of shocked. Same, same. I, I'm kind of shocked because we heard his podcast, you know, where we um, heard his podcast where he really went in on her saying, like, I'm not one to be messed with. I'm not. He literally said, I'm not Tati. Like, I'm not going to settle with you. And here he is settling. Now, I, I think the reason for this, I think Todd really thought that he would beat his tax fraud case. I think he thought, I'll get that done and over with. That'll be out of the way. And then I can just focus on this one. Um, and I think that's why he wanted to drag this one out so long. If you looked at, like, the court dates that they had set, I mean, it went into, like, 2024. It was wild. Um, I don't think she's telling the truth. I was trying to get on to double check to see if anything has been filed on this, but I could not remember the site to pull the records. Um, and even if they settle today, it's not going to go into the system today. I mean, it could be two weeks before it actually goes into the system. KJ will be saying she won the case. That's exactly what happened before um, with, that's what happened with um, Tati. She says she won the case. I'm sure we'll know by the end of the day if she's telling the truth. Well, I figure if she's not telling the truth, Todd will make a post really quickly and say, that's not true. Um, at first, when I read it, I thought, well, maybe she just settled with, like, the production company that's over his podcast. Because you guys remember where Katie made the comment saying, oh, he can't talk about me no more on his podcast, and they took all of them down. They took all the podcasts down where he's, you know, spoke bad about me. Um, so I just thought, oh, that's probably to do with the um, – production company for the podcast. I mean, it's kind of a win. I mean, I, you know, I sued for my arrest. You know, you guys know that I was falsely arrested. I sued. They settled. I consider it a win. Kind of, you know, I mean, honestly, I would have liked to have went to trial. Um, I actually pushed for that. I actually was like, I know I would prefer to go to trial. And I was basically told, like, this will be a lot easier, you know. Way less money if you settle. Um, or way in terms of how much money is going to be spent on the case. Isn't her house in her dad's name? I don't think so. I know that was said at one point, but I'm not really sure if that's true. More than likely. More than likely, she gave up her stores. I think Katie's embellishing facts. Well, it wouldn't be the first time. It definitely wouldn't be the first time that she's embellished, <laughs> you know, some facts here. So, let me see. go back to that post.
So someone said this. Well, not a good day for without a crystal ball. She settled with Todd Chrisley, and she will not be able to make money off his upcoming sentencing or new trial. That's a good way to look at it. That's a good way to look at it. She's not going to be able to make money off his upcoming. So if they get a new trial or anything that happens with Todd concerning his sentencing, which she was loving that. You know, when Todd and him was found guilty, oh, she was talking about it. She gave up Swanson in a heartbeat to get out from under the Tati lawsuit. She would have to give up something here, surely, right? Possibly. So, Katie and Todd Chrisley settled the defamation lawsuit. But thank you, guys. Thank you, Elizabeth. Yeah. Yeah, you know, some people settle because they're like, well, I may not win, so let me go ahead and take, you know, take the settlement of what they're offering. Um, I was like a, a thousand percent knew that I was going to win, you know. I mean, my lawyer was like, it's just going to cost a lot more money, you know, um, and it's going to take a lot longer if we go to trial. And I have been fighting this since, I've been fighting it for two and a half years. I've been, you know, um, in this case against the police. So when they offered a settlement, my lawyer was like, take the settlement. And I was like, I really don't want to. Like, I would really prefer to take this to trial. Um, and she was like, oh, my goodness, if you take it to trial, it could go a lot longer. Um, then it's going to be a lot more expensive for you. You know, I think this would be a good idea. And I was, I was like, no, I don't want to. <laughs> and basically was kind of. I just, you know, I ended up settling or whatever, but um, I knew without a shadow of doubt that I would win, and I didn't know what that would entail if we went, but I wanted to be able to, I wanted to be able to get up there and tell a judge what these people did to me and how it affected my life, so I knew that I would win. That's really not long. It doesn't seem like it, but when you're in the middle of it, it, seem, it seemed like it was forever, two and a half years, you know? Thank you. Yeah, that's what I, I think some people settle because they're like, oh, I'm probably not going to win. Some people settle because that's what their attorney advises them to do for other reasons. Um, why would he do this? I, I, I think he's more concerned with his other legal situations. He was also uh, sued again. Let's see. So, a tax investigator recently sued him. Let's go over this. Oh. Ty Chrisley is continuing to spew lies about a woman who investigated him for tax evasion. This is according to a new lawsuit. No, this just happened. The Chrisley Knows Best Star is being sued for defamation by Amy Hines over remarks. She says that he made on his popular podcast about the former Georgia Department of Revenue investigator. According to the lawsuit obtained by TMZ, Amy claims that Todd continues to defame her on his podcast, Chrisley, Confec Chrisley Confessions, by falsely accusing her of various criminal conduct related to the investigation into his finances. In a podcast episode last September, um, Amy... Hines claims that Todd maliciously accused her of breaking laws during the investigation, mentioning her name twice, calling for her to be prosecuted, and making her out to be corrupt and dishonest. Amy previously sued Todd back in 2021 for defamation. That separate lawsuit is still pending. So Todd has a defamation lawsuit against, against him right now by Amy. He has the um, tax evasion situation going on. And now Amy has sued him yet again. She sa Amy says that Todd has not only refused to retract his statements about her, but has doubled down, prompting her to file yet another lawsuit. Todd and Chrisley were found guilty in June of bank fraud and tax evasion. The couple was awaiting sentencing and facing up to 30 years in prison. Todd talks about the case at least a few times on his podcast, recently asking listeners to send thoughts and prayers. Amy Hines is going after Todd for more than $75,000. So apparently she's suing. She's filed another suit for $75K. Um, so now she's filed two suits against him. So that may be, you know, why 
Todd has just been like, you know what? Katie is a nobody. She's a little nothing. Like, now he's dealing with, you know, two suits from a tax investigator. Along with facing 30 years in prison. So, oh, thank you, Cecilia. Thank you, thank you. I have your thoughts. Yes, you're welcome. Um, I'm just so tired of the he said, she said narc on so many channels. I'm glad I'm not a judge. I would charge them both for contempt for wasting. I know. Can KJ talk about him and her members only chat? No, she's not supposed to. Thank you. She is not supposed to talk about him at all. If KJ and TC don't want people in their business, then stop posting their business all over the internet, okay? And you know, the way that I look at it, this is kind of the way that I look at it. If someone talks about you, you know, like, I have a YouTube channel, right? I have a YouTube channel. So, if another YouTuber decided to talk about my family. Hey, Elle, how are you today? You're looking amazing today. I love your studio. So freaking awesome and awesome. Oh, thank you so much. I'm doing really good, Nanya. Doing really good. So, if another creator decided to talk about me, my family, um, things that was going on within my family... I would feel like, well, I have the right to talk about her, you know? I have the right to say, well, she's lying, but what about her doing X, Y, Z? And Todd did that, in my opinion. Like, Todd didn't know who Katie was. Tati Westbrook had no idea who Katie was. The Duggars, they did not know who Katie is. The reason people learn about people like me and Katie, like small YouTubers, because at the time when Tati found out about Katie, I mean, yeah, when Tati found out about Katie, Katie didn't even have a YouTube channel yet. She was just writing for Patheos. But she was writing such terrible things about Tati and her um, her vitamin line and her family that that brought attention. You know, when somebody really starts talking about you and maybe it's things that are not pleasant. Like, okay, me as a creator, anytime another creator does talk about me, usually someone will alert me. Like, one of my subs would be like, oh, did you see that video that so-and-so done on you? And I'm like, a lot of times I'm like, no, I don't want to see it. Um, every once in a while, I'd be like, what? And I might go watch it. Um, but usually, the reason people will come to me and tell me that is because the person talking about me said some really nasty things or said things that other people just didn't feel like was true about me. So, you know, like, Tati Westbrook, Todd Chrisley, I mean, they have people talking about them. Todd Chrisley, you know, used to have Wendy Williams talking about him all the time. You know, he was in a, in a feud with Nancy Grace. Um, but he hit back because Katie said things about his family that was, like, over the line, crossed that line. You know, when people talk about your family and it crosses that line, it usually gets back to you, especially if they do it on social media. Because everybody's like, oh, my God, did you hear? Did you hear? And it gets back to you. So I feel like, do you guys think Todd Chrisley's ever heard about me before the lawsuit? Now, I know he has after... Katie, but before him and Katie and their lawsuit, do you guys think Ty Chrisley ever knew who I was? No, but I covered him too. I covered him too, but I did it in a respectful way. Um, I did it in a respectful way. I wasn't like pushing the boundaries. I wasn't crossing lines in the way that I covered him. I covered the fact that they had turned themselves in, that they had pending charges. I covered the fact that they wanted to go to, like, the Cayman Islands, and they had to ask the judge for permission. Like, I covered all those things. I covered how he, you know, allegedly tried to um, blackmail Lindsay. I covered those things. But I covered them in a respectful way. It wasn't, oh, he did do this, and he's a that, and he's a this, and he's 100% gay. And Like, I didn't say all those things. I did it in a respectful way. So that's probably why nobody ever told him about my content, which great. You know what I'm saying? Usually, they'll tell, you know, it gets back to them when the content is, like, too much, you know? Um, so, that's why 
he was able to find out about Katie because people probably went to him and was like, oh my God, did you see this creator saying all these terrible things about you? Same with Tati. Oh my God, did you see these articles written about you where somebody's claiming that you're that your vitamins are like snake oil and they're talking so badly about your family and they're saying your dad's in the mob. Like, are you seeing this? And then she was probably like, what? Let me go see, you know? So usually when you're talking really negative and nasty about someone, it can get to them. Or if you're saying things that are like shocking about someone, it can get back to them. Exactly, B. I bet KJ will have a drunk live tonight embellishing all kinds of stuff about Tati without saying his actual name. Possible, you know, I mean, very possible. But if she, you know, like she signed a, um, she settled with Tati and I'm, they had enough, they had a confidentiality agreement there as well. Since then, Katie has went on to pop off. Oh, I won that lawsuit. We settled, they settled with me because they knew I was going to win. Like she's made a lot of comments. And the only reason that has not come back to bite her in the butt is because they need her. They need her. So she gave them the source. She was like, here, Clark Swanson. He's who gave me everything. He's, he's who told me everything. Here he is. Now they're still in this battle with Clark Swanson. Tati is. So if this ever goes to trial, they need Katie to come in and say, yes, Clark gave me all this stuff. Clark Swanson told me all these things. So they're keeping Katie on their good side. He found out about KJ because she was best friends with Lindsay. I think he found out about her before then. Did he not? Because from my understanding, he sent her a cease and desist before that. Um, let's see. This was a whole... He filed a lawsuit. She filed a motion to dismiss. She then... Cancel that motion to dismiss and then countersued. Um, Todd made a claim a few months back saying that Katie was begging them to settle. We don't know what the settlement is. Does anyone know where KJ goes? Uh, does anyone know where KJ goes? Last um, we don't know. We'll probably never know, just like with the Tati situation. All we knew in that situation was that she gave over Clark Swanson. It, yes, it's got to be hitting her pockets, I'm sure. Um, I want to, let me see. I'm going to double check again to see if he said anything on Twitter. Still nothing on Twitter. So Katie will not get to make money off his upcoming sentencing and new our new trial. I love that for her. She will claim she won in a few weeks' time, but she has us to remind her that she didn't. I mean, it's kind of win, you know, as much as I hate to say it, because ultimately, she she doesn't have to continue this fight. Ultimately, um, you know, if it would have went forward, who knows what the outcome could have been. So high school to me. How old are these people? It's a joke. These poor people who have to deal with them both. I know, Zan. I know. <laughs> it's wild. Okay, let me read some of these comments. In my opinion, if she settled, she still lost. Is there going to be a sentencing? Law tube seemed to believe he had a good case for a retrial. I haven't kept up. Has there been an update on his request for a new trial? Because if he gets a new trial, it's going to be a repeat of the first trial. Like... Likely minus some evidence. Yes, but no mention of her giving up her source from the crew who allegedly fed her info. You know the one she then denied knowing or having a name or contact details for? Her source was Lindsay. KJ made up the source to protect her best friend. And she gave up Swanson. Quickly enough to get out from under the Tati lawsuit. So, she either denied having details for or verifying the source from the CKB crew and admitted she lied. And just because she has a gag order and isn't allowed to talk about Todd or his family doesn't mean she can't get her friends to talk about Todd and cover his other court cases. For instance, if Unirock or Nonsense 2.0 channel starts covering Todd's case, we'll know who put them up to it and gave them the info. She'll find a way. That's interesting. 
priceless. She lost. She's the one making money talking about TC, not the other way around. She lost money on her legal fees and future income. So I guess in a way you could say... Um, I guess you can say she's lost the ability to make, you know, an income off Todd, which she did. I mean, she talked about Todd and it made her an income. Todd talking about her, it doesn't really benefit him in, in any way. Like financially, it doesn't really benefit him. Like his podcast has a ton of viewers, listeners anyways, regardless. A lot of people tune in to listen to their podcasts. Oh, crap. I needed to pay a bill today. Sherry, you just reminded me. I need to pay a bill today. I'll have to pay it when we get off. Um, she's so hateful and disrespectful to everyone. Her misery overflows. Yeah, that's really true. Let me see. Let me go back to... I can't say I'm 100% shocked. Someone said, I want to know how she keeps getting away with her lies, defamation, and outright slander. Someone else says, I want to see the actual dismiss dismissal documents before I believe anything she says. Todd Chrisley pulled down his own post that he posted two weeks ago, talking about KJ lying about a settlement. Once I saw that deleted, I knew they were on their way to settle all legal matters. This chick has the best luck when it comes to slander, defamation, and outright bullying. Someone else said, but 7M is her biggest problem. I'm still very disappointed in Todd Chrisley, especially the way everyone rallied around him and sent him all the evil things she posted. But we all know she isn't done. She just posted about Todd Chrisley already. That was two minutes ago. That's She probably posted about them settling. He got what he wanted, though. She can never speak about him or his family again, and she hates that. She doesn't get to report if he goes to prison, and she doesn't get to say she won. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm sure that's going to eat her up. Not being able to talk about him. I feel like in time, she probably will start talking about him. And who knows if anything will be done. What she's probably doing, what Katie's probably doing is saying, Oh, yeah, I'll agree to not talking about them. I'll agree that I won't talk about them. But when they go to prison, I'll talk about them. So. Um, are you talking about Michelle... What's her last name? Are they friendly? But sh but wasn't she right? He's a crook, right? Isn't it, it's possible he was going to jail, won't he? He can't do his podcast from jail, can he? Um, I mean, he was found guilty. So for some things that she said, I guess legally speaking, you would say, well, yeah, I guess she was right about some things. Not everything that Katie said was she right about. Um. It's also in the way that you cover things. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're going to have a commentary channel or Katie says she's a reporter, okay, whatever. You got to go about your reporting in a way that's ethical, you know? And she just didn't do that when talking about him. Like, she was like, oh, he just needs to come out of the closet already. He's 100% gay. 100% gay. My thing is you claim you support the LGBTQ, but why would you say that about someone? You know, a lot of people that are gay, bisexual, lesbian, whatever, if they haven't come out yet, there's a reason why. They're scared to. They're scared of how their family's going to react. There's a reason behind why they don't. You know what I'm saying? Um, and other people in the community, or most people um, wouldn't out someone or wouldn't even say that. Like, oh, yeah, they're definitely gay. They're 100% gay. Just come out already. Like, she does that with one of the Duggar kids. There's a Duggar kid that she's like, sources have told me one of the Duggars is gay. He just is scared to come out. Like, why would you do that? You know, most it, people that are gay, lesbian, they spend their whole lives worried that someone will find out about them. 
you know, terrified to come out. And then you got people like Katie, Katie over there, like, just telling her whole following that the person's gay, bringing more stress to them than they already have. To me, someone that does that does not support the LGBTQ at all. Um, I wonder if he will ever. He said on Wendy Williams, he said, the only way I'll ever come out is if there's a big old paycheck behind it. He claimed, he says he's not gay. You know, he's like, I'm not gay. I've been married. I have children. Um, but he says if he was to ever come out, he would be paid for it. Um, yeah. Why can't she just be nice and polite, no drama, like be a bit crazy? We're all we all are in my opinion. It's really wild. I mean, she had the Tati lawsuit, which I really thought, considering everything she said about Tati and how she insinuated that Tati's dad, you no, know, she said like Tati's dad must be a part of the mob or the mafia or someone. She looked up his birth certificate, she looked up, you know, where he worked, her where Tati's family worked and marriage license first to be she's been days 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 getting you know research research i tell you and i can't figure out where tati's dad works so he must be a part of the mob and then insinuating that tati's husband convinced his dying mother to sign everything over to him and then the second she did he pulled the plug like that is enough like you know you would think that you know she would have stuck by that lawsuit but i get why she didn't like, I get, you know, she her, the big lawsuit for her was the business one. And having Katie agree to turn over her source um, was a big deal. And they needed that. So, like, I get it. But it definitely seems like she has, like, nine lives. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She can just attack people, lie on people, go after people. And then when they hear about her, because of all the terrible things that she's saying about them, and they send her the cease and desist, what does she do? She, she gets it, and then she gets on her channel saying, ha-ha, I got a season to sit today. Yeah, right. Ha-ha. You're not going to shut me up, you know? Guess KJ never heard of Caitlyn Jenner. She's transitioning, yet still, unattra still attracted to women. Just because a man is metrosexual doesn't mean he is gay. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, Todd may act feminine. Doesn't mean he's gay. Who knows? But it's up to him, if he is, that's completely up to him, to decide if he wants to come out or when he wants to come out, you know? Katie claiming to be so supportive of the LGBTQ, yet saying things like that just screams the exact opposite of support, in my opinion. Um, I really, I don't know. Like, a part of me was like, oh, I don't think Todd will settle. Like, Todd was even like, because Katie and Todd, Katie and Todd Paulson, I was like, oh, he's going to be going to jail anyway. He's not like you can sue somebody from in jail. And Todd Paulson was like, oh, uh, Todd Chrisley was like, oh, yes, you can. You still have rights in jail. You can still sue people. And you can. You can still sue people, sue, sue people from in jail. There's been people in jail sue the jail. You know, I mean, it's happened. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Me and Sean just decorated for fall yesterday. And then I got my light today. Looks like there's a little. Um, she'll have her day of reckoning. Nothing lasts forever. Not even luck. That is true, Pugs. Um, that's what I say when people ask me about Katie. You know, they're like, um, how is she still on YouTube? And I just say, you know, I don't know. But someone that has such dark energy and treats people the way that she treats them, I don't think it'll last forever. I think eventually one day her luck will run out and she will be kicked off social media. Hey, Jube Jube, LB, she said that two of the Duggars are gay. She always makes fun of being gay. Yeah, she does. I just hope one way or another Julie knows what the truth is. Yeah. Thank you, Juju. So, according to her, they have settled. 
it would be nice if, you know, we would know what the terms of the settlement was, but, no, that's got to be confidential. Someone said, I'll only believe it when Ty Chrisley says it. Keep hoping until then. I bet the Ty Chrisley settlement includes penalties if they do speak about each other, and that's where Todd will get her. She can't keep her mouth shut. Um, if they did, in fact, settle, then I do hope it comes with penalties. A thousand percent. Yeah, people who take this route end up deplatformed. Exactly. Exactly. Um, people who take that route usually end up deplatformed. It takes a while, and it it's hard for the people that get hurt through this to see that people are constantly on there. You know, somebody's constantly on there just being so negative and hurtful. So it is tough. Um, but eventually it happens, you know. Yet KJ says she's five. Exactly. I mean, like, I think, especially even more so if you're bi, you're like, I don't want to out someone. Right? A lot of people who are gay don't openly talk about it. There's still so much discrimination against it. I don't care either way. Yeah. Her obsession with outing people like a game is dangerous. She's no ally, period. Exactly. A thousand percent. Um. As soon as documents come out, I'm going to figure out. i got to remember how to check the documents, but as soon as they do. Um, if they just settled today, which that's what I, I feel like they probably just settled today, um, and Katie probably made that post as quickly as she could. So as soon as something does come out, we're going to, um, we'll go over it. Let me see if there's. Y'all, I'm just dumbfounded. I get it. I understand, but it sucks. I wish we knew about how much money this crap cost her. You know, you would think after a while... It cost you so much money, you would be like, okay, never mind, I'm going to stop. You would, um, you would think she would say, okay, if I get a cease and desist about somebody, I'm just going to shut up. Because I don't want to keep spending money on lawsuits. Um, you know, she's talked about how she tries to make a decent living because her son will require care, you know, even after she's not here. So that's why she wants to make a good living so she can put that money up. And I have six children, and I'm the same way. Like, people ask me, why don't you sue her? Why don't you sue her? Like, listen, my lawyer said I had a good case, okay? But the reason I don't is because I know it's going to cost me a ton of money I have six children. I'm not trying to spend $100,000 on her when it can go to my family. Even though sometimes I'm like, should I? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, let's see if she's lost any stuff. Nope. And she's projected to make um, this month on Social Blade, it has her making about $16,000. No insurance company is insuring her for this. I'm, yeah, surely by now she's lost her insurance company. Um, so she, this month, the month of September, she's going to make, she's projected right now to make about sixteen k, And this is usually on the low end. Like every time I check mine, it's 
Oh. Um. Let's see. How off it was. Yeah, it's off. Like half off. Yeah. I had a slow month in September, but still. It's like half off with mine. I had a really slow month. Um. August, I had a really good month. August, I had a really good month. September, terrible month. Um, but I, I had to take off work a lot for doctor's appointments and things like that. Um, so, yeah, it has her making about $16,000. If it's as off with mine, then she's really going to make about $30,000. Yeah, need your edit. My computer died before I saved about. Okay. That's true. I guess I just always think about the cost, like, at the moment, you know? Like, because my family's expensive. You know? My family's super expensive. Our bills, and then them all being in sports, and then I'm like, I just couldn't see, like, having to pay, like, $10,000 at once, you know? Which, I mean, I have an attorney that represented me in the lawsuit against the police. Um, and, I mean, we've contemplated it before we've talked about it but that's one thing that's always been like yeah no i don't want to do that gray straight pink polka dot i don't care if you're happy that's all that matters i don't think either one are happy and it shows in their actions are their words that's very true that's very true oh that's fine you're fine you are fine Um, so I'm not exactly shocked. Does she get SSDI for her child or Medicaid making 60K? And one other would make it and the other was gross responsible for payback and funds she received within that month. I'm really not sure. I, I have no idea what she gets as far as assistance. I have no idea. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's probably not my business. And I feel like I would be crossing a line if I was to look into that or try. I don't know. I don't know. Even though she does that, even though she is quick to look in to see if somebody's drawing something, you know, and are they doing it illegally, that's her thing. Um, the second I question it, I would get hammered, you know what I'm saying? So I just, uh, the way I look at it too, though, is if she is doing something like that, surely one day she'll just fall. Um, Lord have mercy, I would lose my brain if not attached. Same, same. All your time is valuable and all the working with lawyers. You got to do what's best for your family first. I'm surprised she never gone on holiday. All that money is just sitting inside. I know. I know. Like, my goodness. If I was making $30,000 a month, which she does some months, like some months she definitely makes $30,000, $40,000. Um, that would probably be one of the first things that I would do. I would take me and my family on a vacation. Because we haven't been on a vacation in several years. So I would definitely do that. Right, Ella, right. Thank you, Elizabeth. Um, so yeah, Todd, you know, when it when it first came out that he was suing her, I remember he threatened to sue her for a while. Like he had threatened to sue her like the year before, sent her a cease and desist, was hoping that she would shut up, but she didn't. And then when it came out, like when he started saying it again, I'm gonna sue her, I'm gonna sue her, people around me was like, He's not gonna sue her. He'd been saying that, he's not gonna sue her, he's been saying that. What were they even suing for? Um, I don't remember. Did they ever say, like, suing for five million? Like, I think that's what Tati said. Like, Tati was like, suing for five million, you know? Um, but I don't know if they ever actually said. I think their main thing is they wanted her to shut up. And this is of the settlement, maybe. Available as early as next week, if it becomes public record. I'm going to keep my eye on, eye out on it. Yeah, 30K a month. And every vacation or even a small trip for a beautiful baby. I know. I know. Um, but when he first come out again, after saying it last year, and he came out again and said, oh, I'm going to sue her on his podcast. I had people that was like, he's not going to sue her. He always says that, you know. 
So when he actually filed, I was like, see, he's suing her. And I really thought that he would hang to this. Like, I really thought he's going to sue her. He's not going to give up. After the way she talked about his family, he's he's going to do it. But I, And I really feel like he would have stuck to it had all of these other legal issues not been happening. Like, because of everything else was happening, just kind of piling on top of him. I mean, he was found guilty of fraud. Um, I feel like he just had too much and had to let some of it go. And obviously, Tati's suit was what it was. She filed BK and not pay a dime though, right? Isn't that what Amber did? I, th I think that's what Amber is trying to do. Um, but I don't think that's what she's done yet. I think there was word that she was going to do that. Anyone watching Hocus Pocus, Hocus Pocus tonight? Oh, is it coming on tonight? I love Hocus Pocus. That was my favorite when I was little. I'm still favorite. Um, to me, that seems like BS. Like, if you get sued and you file bankruptcy and you don't have to pay it, I don't know, that seems like that's... Let's see. If I lose a lawsuit, can I file bankruptcy? It is possible to file bankruptcy after losing the case in court and receiving an order for judgment. If you're struggling financially and get hit with a lawsuit, consider speaking with one of our skilled. Yeah. Can I file bankruptcy after a lawsuit? You've been sued by a creditor. No, that's not what we're talking about. Um, yes, the new one comes out on Disney Plus. Aww. Yeah. Um, is it possible to find out where I ordered my light? I can find out. Um, let me see. The box is over here. I didn't order it. One of my subs ordered it for me. And I am wearing pajama pants. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I am. Business up top. Casual on the bottom. Oh, I just hit my toe. It was on Amazon. It was ordered on Amazon. Bankruptcy will, you will still have to pay for the lawsuit on your own. I think that's what Emily D. Baker said. Oh, thank you. Thank you, guys. Um, it does different things, too. The only thing is, is when I turn it lower, it blinks. The reflection blinks. It's really not blinking. But it looks like it's blinking for some reason. Brighter. Lower. When I get low for some reason, it looks like it's blinking. Um, mode. Blinky mode. Or if you find a free streaming site, that's for this as well. Maybe follow. So I'm not even very for sure how everything works. I just know to make it look, um, to keep it from like looking like it's blinking on the screen, I have to keep it lit up like that. Um, but I just got that today. I did four Zoom meetings and a blazer and PJ Bottoms today. Look. <laughs> um, I'm literally, and I got slides on, so. Uh, Anyways, you guys, my son has practiced in a little bit, and I'm, I think I'm going to go with Sean to take him to practice, and I forgot to pay a bill, so I got to get that paid today, um, but I saw that, I saw the news, her making that post that they have settled their lawsuit, which kind of heartbreaking. Did I think Todd was going to win? Not really. I really didn't think he was going to win because, you know, a lot of the claims that she made was public information, um, 
But, you know, I was like, maybe if she has to spend a ton of money on this, she will realize to stop crossing the boundaries. Like, stop going overboard with the way that you report on people. There's there's a way to report on people. You, we're, we're, they're people, you know? I mean, I have to remind myself of that sometimes. Like, you know, one time I, I was, like, talking about Janelle. And then, like, I talked to her mom. And her mom's like, Janelle said, you're a hater. And I'm like, what? Like, oh, my God. Well, I need to reel it in a little bit. Now, you can still speak the truth. You can still, you know, and they might not like it. You know, when you cover things on people, sometimes they won't like it. If it's, you know, like I covered the shooting that uh, Cheyenne and Zach was involved in. And there was a lot of people in the comment section that was having theories. And we were. We were talking about what the possibilities of why this shooting took place. And they did not like that. A lot of people feel that this has something to do with Zach's past because Zach allegedly has a shady past. And that ticked them off at me. You know, um, and I, I, I kind of apologized. I was like, you know, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings. I know they're going through a lot coming off of something like that happening. Um, so I'm not trying to hurt their feelings at all. And I do it like, I, you know, I try to make a little apology. I even took down the initial video because there was a lot of assumptions and a lot of it did point to Zach saying that it was probably his fault. And, you know, their whole family was shot at. I mean, Cheyenne t- talked about it on the show saying we couldn't hear Ryder. Like, we could hear a screaming, but I, we could not hear Ryder. And for a moment, I didn't know if she was okay when all of this was going on. And we, we finally pulled over and I jumped out and I take my babies out and I'm taking their... Like, that made me feel so bad for her. And, you know, regardless of if Zach screwed somebody over... Nobody deserves to go through that. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody deserves to go through, like, knowing if their kid has been shot. So, going through that, coming off the trauma from that, probably having PTSD, and then hearing people blame you for it, um, surely was difficult. So, I took the video down, you know, trying to make it, because there were a lot of assumptions and accusations and everything like that. And, my channel is not a news channel. Like, I don't report the news. I just tell you guys what's going on with trending topics and things that I'm interested in. And then a lot of times we will kind of speculate on why this happened. Um, but normally I don't think that anybody that I'm talking about even watches me. Um, but I do still try to take it into account that if they do watch, how would that affect them? He'll still be pleased. He's on our payroll. Okay. Like, no one won. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess you could consider it a win if you want to for both of them. Because as far as Todd is concerned, Katie cannot make another red cent off his name. As far as he's concerned. As far as she is concerned, this is done and over with. You know, say it would have continued. She would have had to spend more money on legal fees. And eventually, say he won, what would the, what what would it have been if he would have won? You know, you can't talk about me. Take all the videos down where you have talked about me and you owe me X amount of dollars. You got to pay my legal fees. You know, nobody has passed. It does not give anybody the right to choose them, period. Exactly. I just want to know how Elle seems to be able to do a thousand different things. It's it's magic. It's magic. Um, I'm always doing a bunch of different things to stay on top of everything. Like, as soon as this is over, I'm going to hop on and I'm going to pay my bill really quick. Then I'm going to run in the house and I'm going to put pants on and we're going to get uh, the kids ready to go to football practice. And I'll, I don't know if I'm going to be at, tonight's Friday night, so I doubt it. Um, we got football games tomorrow, so. Oh, and then Paris has College Connection in the morning. So I got to take Paris to College Connection in the morning. It's from 9 to, nine to 3. I'm going to miss one football game, but I'll be back in time for the others. So um, Sunday, we'll... I'll, we'll try to do this for members. Um, but anyways, you guys, leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you guys shocked to hear that Todd and Katie settled their lawsuit? Um, if Obviously, nothing's been posted to like Pace or anything yet. So when it is posted, I'll come back and we'll kind of go over whatever is posted. But anyways, I will see you guys later. Everybody have a great weekend. Goodbye, everyone.